realagriculture.com canola school is brought to you by Syngenta Crop Protection Canada. And when you talk about most production, uh, the biggest thing guys look at is reducing loss. And there's a couple uh, different kinds of loss and the biggest mistake farmers will make is not determining which kind of loss they're looking at. And uh, there's a couple different kinds. Um, if you want to break it down simply, it's kind of a header or a feeder house loss, rotor loss, and sieve loss. And uh, the best thing a farmer can do is uh, determine which kind of loss he's getting, whether it's coming from the reel because he's uh, running it too fast or the settings aren't proper, or whether it's coming from the cleaning system or if it's coming from the rotor. And there's a couple different kinds of ways to tell. Um, there's a kill stall you can do in order to determine if you're overloading your cleaning system or if it's coming from your rotor. Uh, you can uh, drop a pan. Uh, we recommend a four foot pan by one foot behind the combine and drop everything into that pan. And you should be able to tell where you're uh, throwing over on your cleaning system. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, biggest thing is farmers got to remember when they are setting them for losses is don't get frustrated. You know, uh, when you are doing changes, don't do a whole bunch in the field. Do one, make one change to either your sieve, your concave, your ground speed, and retest it and check it. Because, you know, even though it's going to take you a little extra time now to check it on your first run, it's going to last you throughout the season and you're going to be happy. Uh, when you make a couple changes all at once, you don't know if it got better, got worse. Some One may have helped and one may have made it worse. So that's the biggest thing. Uh, and I guess the other thing is talk to your neighbors. You know. Uh, neighbors really help us out at the dealership, all the customers, because they have different ideas of what they do, because conditions do change over the areas. So what may work in one area will not work for the other guys. So the neighbors really pool together and help out each other to optimize the way these machines will run and function. It, usually the biggest mistake farmers make is they overlook the easiest things. Uh, a lot of times it's your basic settings and adjustments. Make sure um, your sieves, your concaves, everything's adjusted and calibrated properly. And if you do run into a loss situation, um, take a look. Make sure you have the right concave rates in. Um, there's no dirt or mud on the machine. And usually, nine times out of ten, that'll correct your problem. I guess one of the things that we've been seeing with the with the advent of automatic combine adjust uh, functionality in the machine itself, we find that, that when, when a customer goes into the machine and just hits the automatic combine adjust, if those components aren't calibrated properly, so the display doesn't actually match what the setting uh, in the machine actually is, we find there's a lot of uh, a lot of potential for crop loss in that situation. So we always recommend uh, every time you use those automatic combine adjust settings, the calibration be done uh, beforehand, uh, once a year if not more, to make sure that the settings in your machine match what your display is showing. Uh, if you read the operator's manual, which most guys hate to do, um, it's easy to take out of the bag, you don't have to be scared about it, and you can uh, figure out some settings for your header and your feeder house that are really going to help you.